Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trade uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. We're going to probably save about five, six minutes uh, reiterating how good the market is. We know how good the market is, right? Tomorrow, a uh, shortened session uh, for the 4th of July holiday. Market closes tomorrow at one o'clock uh, Eastern time. Before we go on, guys, again, thank you very much for tuning in, spending a couple of minutes with us. Only thing I ask is if you like the content, show your support for the channel, uh, click like, share, subscribe. If you are interested in pivots, and a lot of you guys have been faithful viewers for a long time. If you're interested in pivots, guys, all it takes is 30 days uh, out of your time. You'll see quickly why this is completely different uh, than the quote unquote normal. If it's for you, it's for you. If not, uh, worst case, we uh, end to be friends. So Let's talk about the tape, right? Market's good. That's it. End of message. Have a great weekend. Um, all jokes aside, uh, you know, look, you had Powell speaking today, uh, favorable t speech words, whatever you want to call it, uh, on the progress of inflation. Nothing concrete. It's all speculative nonsense. But the market, again, doesn't really take a lot for the market to uh, start putting fuel on the fire. Uh, the big story, uh, again, was Tesla. You know, we talked about uh, the massive breakout on Tesla above uh, the April 29th highs. Uh, they were uh, reporting today two pieces of the data. Uh, first, uh, the Chinese deliveries. And if you look at the initial Chinese deliveries, they weren't great, right? You look at the numbers, they were down like 24%. Uh, I think, let's see here, Tesla China delivers 71,000 vehicles in June down 24.2%. We talked about on last night in the video that two weeks ago, they had two uh, separate analysts trim estimates on uh, Tesla coming into this delivery season. And for two times in a row last uh, two weeks, they engulfed the news and they took the stock higher. All you got to do is go back to last night's video. And we talked about this. Uh, you know, if, if they came in with good numbers, the stock was going to explode. If they came in with initial bad numbers, they were going to knee jerk reaction it was going to be to the downside. They were going to trap shorts. And then, oh, by the way, the big delivery number came out and those numbers were pretty good. You have 441,000 of, excuse me, 444,000 vehicles delivered. Uh, versus uh, 441 estimate, they they beat their number, you know. So I don't know how long these two analysts were sitting there trying to figure out uh, why their estimates were going to be so bad and the delivery numbers would be so bad. But that's exactly what happened when you're in a runaway train and you're getting bits of news, right? Bits of news in all over the place. Uh, any bad news that gets engulfed, that's good. So the market kind of told us ahead of time what was going to happen. So shorts got caught pre-market. Uh, the delivery numbers came in. These are the, these are really good numbers. In the second quarter, uh, they produced uh, 411,000 vehicles and added delivery approximately 444,000 vehicles. It just exploded, absolutely exploded. It went up 10% today. I mean, what what's left to talk about, right? What's left to talk about? Absolutely went bananas. Congratulations for all you guys. Uh, magic carpet ride. Is it look? Is it up too much, too fast in the last you know you know couple of weeks? Yeah, it is. Right, and, you know, it's up twenty what twenty two, twenty three percent in the last four or five days. Okay, does it look like Nvidia? <laughs> kind of looks like Nvidia. Uh, look, hey, should tomorrow be the first trade? If you if you haven't traded the stock, uh, you know since this whole breakout, should, should tomorrow be the first time you enter the position? Probably not. It's probably not the best thing you can do. Does it deserve you know a nice rest for a couple of days? It does. But and just like Nvidia, and you can see a lot of similarities. But any just like Nvidia, use weakness, folks. Use weakness to get into Tesla. This is some good news. Uh, the stock is finally above uh, a channel. It got above the 50-day. Got above the linear regression line. It got above everything. Right? They're coming from the 250s, the 265s. Bullish euphoria. But try to get it on weakness, right? Try to get it on weakness. Uh, if you if you think you missed the trade uh, from the 189s and the 191s and the 206, yeah, you missed it, right? You missed those entries. And remember, like I said last night, 
the further it is, right? The further it is from the breakout level, the higher probability it does get pulled. Nobody's saying this is going to get pulled tomorrow, but the point is, if you are going to try to get a position on this thing or try to position this thing for the future, use any type of weakness just the same way uh, NVIDIA was for about two months, right? Every single breakout, it came in, trapped shorts, and ran up again. But kudos, absolute kudos uh, for all you guys who, who, who wrote it, for all you guys who bought the breakout in several uh, places in the last couple of days, and now is just the one hell of a magic carpet ride. Other names, again, you know, let, let's just yeah you know, look look at the uh, look at uh, the the pivots, right? Look at the pivots here again. Here's here's uh, you know here's my mo morning notes this morning. Delivery is not great, right? That was the China numbers. Let's see if it goes green later for experienced traders. Watch for it to green. That's all it did. It, it trapped. It went red to green. Just and just absolutely exploded up ten percent. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal move. Uh, you got Avago, right? Avago, guys, watch this Avago. Gave us a trade in the afternoon, about six, seven bucks. Gave us a trade in the afternoon. But guys, watch the option flow here. They came last week. You guys remember they came for the seven nineteen. Uh, 1650 and 1700 calls, right? About roughly 5 million. This afternoon, a buyer came in. I'm assuming this is the same buyer. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming it's the same buyer. They came in also for the 719 expiration, 1.4 million premium for the 1700s. And then they came in for the August 16 expiration for the 1900 calls, approximately 877,000 in premium. But nice pop here. Uh, Avago 1649 uh, needs to build. Here was Avago, right? Took out the 1649, stopped right at the 10 day supply. If this 10 day supply gets confirmed tomorrow, this thing could really, really wake up. Again, follow the money, folks. Hey, look, here's my, here's my reminder stop trading anything that's not beta, at least for myself, right? I'm a beta trader. Today, I decided to say, hey, I will be trading Mara. I lost 40 cents of Mara. I learned my lesson. Moving on, right? Moving on. Again, it's literally sometimes you have to remind yourself what you're good at. And sometimes you got to remind yourself and what to leave alone. It's not for you. It might be for somebody else. It's not for you. One size does not fit all. I bought Mara at the top of the range. It stalled, lost 40 cents. Moving on with my day. Uh, Shopify, right? 63 held three times, needs to flush. Never got to 63. GameStop, I was watching for the 50-day confirmation back to the downside. Never got there. Apple was huge. They were coming to the 220s for the 225, short-term expiration. Uh, 217.51 needs to build. Here was Apple, right? Here was Apple. It took out the 1751, took out the yearly highs, 220.20s. This is the highest move uh, in this whole formation, a little bit of profit taking after the close, but beautiful move, absolutely beautiful move there. Uh, Oxy, I wasn't watching Oxy. Sixty three, sixty five needs to confirm the fifty day. Let's see what it did today. I have no idea. I wasn't watching it. Uh, Oxy, 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 Oxy. No, never got that. Never confirmed. Okay, that's that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Kava never got to the seven ninety seven sixty four area. Microsoft, nice pop on Microsoft, uh, 57.37 uh, needs to build. Again, we talked about all these names last night in the video. 57.37, stock went to almost 460, looks higher. Uh, as long as the market stays higher, it looks higher. Uh, Amazon, yearly highs again, 98.85 needs to build. Here it was, Amazon, right? I don't know why my e-signal is acting up, right? Here was Amazon. It took out the last two days of ranges, 98.87. Took out the the 200 and closed. This is the highest close of the whole formation. Big move there as well. Nvidia again is just stuck. We'll talk about Nvidia in a second. Uh, actually, let's talk about it now. Nvidia is just kind of stuck, and it's it kind of remind is is reminding me of Amazon a couple of weeks ago, Meta a couple of weeks ago when it was just kind of resting. Look, who can you know who can really say anything bad? about NVIDIA after this monster run. It's just kind of sitting there. It looks like it's kind of putting in a rolling, you know, a rolling pause. Okay, I get it. If the market pulls back, we definitely want to, want to watch the bottom of the channel. Anyway. But right now, it's just from all in terms of uh, respect, it needs to either get above back the 10-day moving average or lose uh, the lows from two weeks ago. Other than that, right now, it's a stalemate, nothing going on. Uh, and that is it, right? That is it. So again, the market continues to be the market. Stocks continue to be strong. Uh, some great action. 
Uh, are you going to catch everything? Absolutely not. Are you going to mess up trades? You absolutely will. Are you going to start, you know, getting FOMO and this and that? The train is leaving. Guys, you don't need any of that. One trade at a time, one day at a time. Uh, again, we're trading value. We don't care about, you know, we don't care about the lights and the cameras and the fame and this and that. We're looking for value. Your money deserves to be safe. Your money deserves to be uh, respected. And if you're not respecting your money and you're not keeping it safe, that means you're prostituting your money. And that is a sign of a gambler. Other than that, guys, have an awesome, awesome uh, 4th of July. Tomorrow is a half day. Again, the equity markets close at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Enjoy your day off. Friday, uh, we resume again. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.